Right, so just cutting up the last peg if you like. Um, I've worked out, you know, the, I offered the tube up and put the tape in to touch the inside wall of the tube, put the tape on, zip it off. Now I'll clean it up with the, the flapper wheel. Um, the thing with this, you sort of can't get this right until you get the slot right, and you can't get the slot right until you get this right. So you've got to sort of just, I don't know, guess a bit. Does that make sense? And so you can't push it in to check the slot until you get this tube right, and then you can't get this tube right until you get the slot right so you can actually fit it. So there's a bit of, bit of guessing going on, but we work steady and three done, one to go. All right guys, bottom wing's installed. So I got the bolts in. Nice, with my edge distance, got the slots cut. In the end I put, a, um, I put a bit of tape on all the compression struts and just ran my laser straight through. Ran the laser through, I'm pointing but you can't see me. I ran the laser through, getting those six bits of tape with a mark, which gave me a straight wing. Then I measured from the wing tip. It was five, five, four, two, zero um, in both directions. Sort of jagged that. So the wing is on. Just gonna crank in some dihedral. And tomorrow, I'm gonna start on the top wing. So I got my express post bag with my correct turnbuckle fork ends. You just have to be careful, like I ordered the right parts originally as I've got down here. But like these are uh there's old well my the alternate part number is the ones that aircraft spruce use. Anyway, I'm going on about part numbers guys. I got the right part. Now just for peace of mind if you're gonna build yourself an aeroplane that uses that many turnbuckles None of these are for the flight controls yet, so I've probably got four on the elevator, two on the radar, two on the tail wheel, maybe four on the ailerons, I'm not sure, six even. Um, you know, that part there is about 50 Aussie dollars. So I don't mention the money too often. And crikey. If you buy the whole assembly, like the three parts, it's about 75 bucks Aussie, I think. Um, depends on the size, of course. But it starts to add up. But I got the right part. Build on. Right, bottom wings on. What am I going to do today? I'm going to check my levels. Level up the fuselage this way and fore and aft. No, I'm not sorry. I'm going to level the fuselage this way. I'm going to put get these levels here to zero. So the wing incidence, if you like. Raise the tail to get that to zero. Then the tip will be zero. Crank this up five degrees in relation to there. Um, crank that one up five degrees. Now the issue I've got straight away, you can see, hopefully, down in there, if you can see that, I've got my bolt on center line on the spar and I've done that in the four locations but my incidence is out um, not too worried as a quick reference the bubbles centered I don't know if you can see this on the video guys but just believe me and this one's on the um, on the forward line so I've got to go, this trailing edge is slightly low compared to that one. So I probably need to get some advice there on whether I'm, um, you know, do I try and rig it out? When I say I'll build it out. So everything's going to be zero. There's five wings, including the center, the center top wing. So obviously the top's all going to be zero in relation to level or the earth, right? So that's all going to be zero. Just thinking out loud again as I do. The root 
here is zero, the tip will be zero. Let's call this one. Do I make that tip one and live with it? I'm not sure. Anyway, that's what I'm going through at the moment. Um, I could twist it out, you know, make the tip zero and the root one. But I think I've learnt in the past, like with the cruiser, don't try and fix your mistakes, otherwise you just chase your tail the whole time and the whole aeroplane will be bent and twisted. If one little bit's bent and twisted, the rest will sort of sort itself out. Might go with that. All right, just using my adjuster on the level, five degrees. Worked out really well, paid for itself. Crank it up, five degrees, we'll do the rear spar, whack the level on, this wing will be set. And now before we throw the top wing on, I've got my jig here. Um, same way I did the undercarriage, these 3D blocks with a hole through it. A bit of angle iron clamped together just to get so the bolt will go square. Like I said before, I put the hole where I want in the middle straight through this tube and we'll worry about finding it later. Right, position my stands through the top wing top centre wing up there, just got these bits of tube one I can measure up to my centre line 30 inches, get it level, I haven't plumb bobbed it yet to get it in the centre left and right, uh, using these velcro straps which come in handy just to hold the, um, lev the level on there, the straight edge. Uh, I took the opportunity to drill the hole and clico this because it's square at the front these ones, um, the rear ones are sloped forward so yeah not sure how I'm gonna do those yet. Um, good news is it looks like I can slide these in and out because obviously I need to cut this to length but you need to be able to slide it back slide it back onto the fuselage preferably without lifting the wing off and then sort of lock it in and rivet it so if you don't know, this has two plates on it, like elephant ears, and that'll grab the um, compression strut there with a bolt through it. As you can see, the bolt's going to be on that angle, which is fine. Get it, still just trying to get everything square. Must be an important job because I can feel myself talking quietly to you guys and concentrating. But we'll get this right and she'll fly straight. Okay, I run into an issue. So I've got my laser down here. Turn the laser on, I assume it comes out on the video. So if I set that up on, um, just roughly, center on the bottom, center here, the wing is centered. There is a laser there if it doesn't show up on the video. Now when I put the struts on, like that, they're gonna join to this tube. And you can see I'm about two inches out. Now I can sort of, that needs about, you know, a lot of force to bend that across. And the other side's the same. So it tells me that these tubes are welded on wrong. So, how am I gonna fix that? I did think if I could undo all my hard work and move the compression struts in about two inches. Um, I've double checked this, center to center, bolt to bolt is 60 inches, which it is. I'm 30 inches from the top longeron up to my center line. I could raise the wing a bit. As I raise the wing, this would go out, but I've already cut these now, because to find this stuff out, you need to cut these so, they can, so you can get them in. Um, and I don't want to you know, going to be too short. So, you know, I'm following the plan to a T, but it's sort of wrong. Um, yeah, as I said, I could move the compression struts in. If I raise the wing, I'm also raising the center of gravity of the aircraft. You know, it's only an inch, inch and a half, but all the weight of the wing is up a bit further, which, you know, arguably would increase the nose over tendency um, so, and it's a fairly drastic change to the design. So we'll stick with what we've got. I think what I'm going to do is, I've got my pilot hole here. This stuff's now sort of useless. 
So I might cut that off and see if that'll allow the tube just to lean over a little bit more. Hopefully that works. We'll give that a go. Success. All right. The immersion's going through a build, I'll tell you. Like one, one wrong hole, you know, if you chew out a hole or you're too close to the edge and you grab the edge with the drill, you sort of got to get spare parts. But um, I got the uh, racket on, Clico in precariously at the moment, on centre still, and um, on that side. Now I'll just fit the, uh, I'll fit the outside plates. We'll do the back ones. Um, I'll put the outside panels on, and then, I might have told you this, I'm gonna plumb bob down, use the bottom wing as the master, drop a plumb bob, square everything up, clear prop. So I pulled the uh, front struts off. Now yeah, it's upsize, upsizing the teardrops. Um, sort of good fun this, you sort of got an hour's worth of work and you know what you're doing, so you just power through it. Um, upsize those to 3 16th. One of them has these teardrops will go onto one of the um, one of the holes for all your bracing. Uh, just work out where the bottom of the rib is. Preferably have it poking out of the wing so it's not buried inside the top or bottom surface of the wing. Right, guys. Well, there's a week's work done. So we'll wrap it up there. Just show you what I've done. Obviously the bottom wing's on. I've got to look at these wires. They go on slack. Um, with my laser, lined it up. It's still, still sitting nicely. I've got the PVC tape there just to hold fore and aft. Um, bolted everything on. Or rivets and bolts. Got the bolts through. Everything's just sort of loose at this stage, loosey-goosey. I've got to bend these brackets more. These come up to like a something, like a four-way, and then peel off. That's how it misses the machine guns, most important. Um, I'll have to pull these off and paint them black before I run a cable through. But just getting everything where it needs to be. Cable on the outside here. There's no right or wrong position, I guess, for this tang here, um, the plan sort of shows it on this one, as opposed to up in here. I'll just put it down there. I don't know if it's weaker, but it should be outside the skin um, a little bit more, rather than buried right in there. I don't mind cosmetically, so it'll just make it easier to, to run the cable. So that's where I went. So there you go. A lot of work. The video shows that done. I think six hours, top, bottom, middle, everything rigged, wires, run, and everything. Well, it's two days, and I got the two front struts on, but they're perfect, so happy with that. Cut the rear ones. I've marked the rear stubbies. I'm going to zip them off as well. Um, they have the same problem. They don't reach out. They don't reach out far enough. So that's where we're at. Hope you, hope you enjoy the videos guys, I just sort of film as I go and um, give you updates. It's uh, sort of pushing ahead, drilling holes, measure, measure twice, cut once as they say. Um, but we'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.